Hi everyone, I'm Jesse and I react to video game music. This is the Auditorium. Today I'm going to be checking out uh, a very popular request from the Toho series. This is the Return of Toho and quite a quite a title on this one just like the rest of them. Tonight Stars and Easygoing Egoist. Egoistic Flowers from the channel Toho Forum Tunes and Kafu Hearn. We're going to be hearing two versions. The other one's in a range from a, di a different arranger. That's going to be very interesting. I don't think I've heard a different arranger besides the original composer. And this first one's like a live version from Zen himself. So I've seen this name a lot pop up. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, requested by Chrysalis and Maximilian. Also, I'm noticing it says antinomy of common flowers. So it's probably like a bunch of... I'm guessing that's a translation, but... Okay. Yeah, so Toho is convoluted, but at least the music is always cool. We're going to start off with this live version and go from there. I'm not sure if this belongs to a certain character or something. Anyways. Oh, and uh, what is this? Fif Toho 15.5? Yeah, I should mention that. Okay, let's go. Fifteen, jeez. I wonder if Toho's ever gonna do like the now that's what I call music and go to like volume. What even? What even are they at now? Ninety. Blazing fast. Wait, is this like actually live? I know it says live, but like, is it like, I hear people cheering. Or is it like, the cheers are put in, you know what I mean? Does Toho do concerts? Oh my god, now that I think about it. A Toho concert would be so sick. You can dance, you can headbang, you can move. I'd be sweating from the movement. We need more video game If this is indeed live, which I'm guessing it is, that's genius. That's a good melody. It's so crazy how Zen has extracted so many melodies out of relatively the same melody. It's just like a different intro or an outro, but it's kind of, you know, it's always in the same realm of intervals apart. That's awesome. Oh. Juicing the whole orange. Oh my god, I would I would go crazy if I heard that live. Toho is such a well I'll talk about more, but Toho's crazy. For so many reasons. See, like that. Like, it sounds kind of like it's a sound recording. Let me know. You know what's funny is the background, like the pay stuff, like, it reminds me of like Generation 1 Pokemon. I've been talking about that game lately, so it's like fresh in my memory. So like those old school gym leader battles. 
Just the, just the base section. Another three minutes left. That's a great melody, dude. We're gonna be hearing another big Toho song after this, too. Just to hear another version of this later. It's very progressive. Oh, the electric guitar! The electric guitar! Live claps. I think it. I, I mean, I'm not trying to like sit be negative, but it sounds like a kind of emulated live setting. But again, please tell me if it is. Either way, that's not a bad thing. I think it sounds okay. It kind of brings it to life in a way. So if anyone can read what that says, please tell me. I'm guessing it's a song name, but just let me know. Everything sounds cool here. It's like, there's like three main focuses. The electric guitar, the keyboard, and of course the zumpit. Like they each have their moment to shine. And since I keep having live in my head, I keep imagining like the spotlight shines on them during that or like the guitar has walked all the way forward. It's pretty cool. In your opinion, what would be must have video game music? in a video game music concert for a band to play. I think Toho definitely belongs in there. Sonic. Mega Man, which Toho really reminds me a lot of. Curious what your thoughts are. Okay. Uh, we still have the other one to listen to, but first, I really want to talk about uh, not only the song, but just Toho as in general. Toho's a very odd, cool, weird, unique thing. For example, just in my experience alone, in my life, never heard about it until this until this uh, series on my channel. Never saw it in passing. Never heard about it in passing. Just didn't know it existed. Then I heard some of it, and then the community came, and I started requesting a bunch. And I actually got a lot of requests early for Toho. I didn't, I didn't get to it until later, but I got requests early for Toho. So it's been sitting there. And since then, it's been a 
cluster of just things that make it so itself. First of all, the name itself, Toho, is kind of strange. You know, I don't know what that means, even though I'm pretty sure someone has told me. But, you know, that, that stands out. Then there's all the entries plus the fan-made stuff. Then there's the song titles that are very unique. Then there's Zun. Then there's the whole, like, Zun Pet. The speed. The characters are all, are all like, girls, basically. Mostly. Which I just found out. And just, like, the, the magnitude of it all. You know? It's... It's wild. And... And again, I've said this before, and I, and I never mean it in a bad way. A lot of it sounds so similar. It's like, I feel like every song is like a slight variation of itself. And normally, and I'm being honest, I would hate that normally. I would not hate, but after a while, I would get like, okay, you know. But when it comes to Toho, it's just cool every time. It's it's found this sweet spot of uh, repeat, repeatability repeat ability repetition <laughs> and you know it's like it's not ever boring it's like oh toho cool like i know what to expect but also not and since i already like that sound that sound is good in my ears and in my brain it's like a it's like a happy place you can like you know hey i know what this sounds like and i and i know how it makes me feel let's put some on that's how i can explain toho it's such a bizarre thing and I feel like not a lot of things are similar to it in the video game world. And if there is, let me know. But I don't know. I just find it like as a unique series. Anyways. Um, well, like I said, in this one, it's another strong melody because it's, it's very much that kind of iconic single note melody that... Uh, Zen likes to make and then just kind of varies it among some little notes and intervals. And I try to hear the other stuff that's going on that's, you know, powering up the whole song. So I'm like, oh, what is the piano doing this time? How fast is it going? You know, the drums and all that. Everything just, it just sounds good, right? It sounds good. This one was a little in interesting because it's live. Now, my ears tell me that it's not like an actual live performance in front of people. It could be. But it also just sounds like kind of recorded clips put into it. I don't know why they would do that. I'm just saying it sounds like that. And maybe it is. But uh, I wonder why. Like, uh, If that was a choice, I wonder why. Yeah, I'm like trying to think about it now that I'm like talking about it. I'm like, hmm. But um, in a way, it brought it brought this sort of environment that you don't often hear, especially in video game music, is to have that like live interaction, and it makes me kind of sad in a way that it just more of it needs to exist. You know, there's so few things out there, and as far as like mainstream media for video game music. And it's, as far as I can tell, it's like square mostly, you know, near distant worlds, it's square. I don't know who else does it, but it's not a, it's not a common thing. And I kind of wish it was. And uh, I can only hope so. Great song. We must continue to the other one. Same, same song, except this one is interesting. This might be a first on the channel that I'm aware of. This is a different arranger. Akiyama Yuni. In parentheses is U2 Akiyama. I don't know if I've heard a different arranger for Toho yet. I don't know. But it's the same song. A little bit shorter. But yeah, tonight stars an easygoing egoist. Egoistic flowers. Now I'm going to assume it's this character right here. Who's blinged out. All right. Part two. Let's go. Also, I forgot to mention the character designs are pretty cool. You know? 
for as many characters as there are, they seem to all have their own flair. That melody's stuck in my head already. Look at her hair. Ooh. All those drums sound great. Well, that's brought me back to like the mid-90s and like Capcom sound, I know. Ooh, of course. The piano piece. Uh -huh. I wonder what the Zen Pit would sound like in this, assuming it's in here. Is there any Toho songs without a Zimpit? Have I had asked that before? That's a great question. Like the little top hat. That piano is killing it. I know the guitar is the main focus, but the piano is killing it. There it is. It's always so interesting not hearing blaring drums hearing a groove. The power of arranges. Oh, so the guitarist and the cello player right there. Oh, is that supposed to be replacing the zump bit? I don't know how I feel about a Toho song without that sound. I feel like I should give props to the artist too. The artist Toho. All these character designs are pretty cool. I don't know if they've worked on anything else. I'm sure they have, but... The guitarist and Muse. Happy. Now I'm very happy. Reminds me of the band T-Square. Amazing guitar lead tone. Sounds like a laser. That was nice. A little tool solo. I wish it lasted longer. Da-da-da-da. I'm a fan of Toho stuff that's groove-oriented. It really shows the composition power of Zim, in my opinion. Seeing things in a different light, if you will. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna assume that th that was directly connected to this character right here, and um, yeah, I can see that if if that's the case. You know, it's got this kind of 
eccentric kind of maybe show off things you got the jewelries the chain they look kind of arrogant too it looks like they're kind of like evil maybe um does it say the character's name i don't know if, i don't know yeah um there's there's one little thing in my mind that i, I don't want to say until now but i guess i'll bring it up but i have to ask so if it happened it already happened but you know if, please let me know um, and this is what makes Toho kind of challenging sometimes, as I was saying earlier. But on this channel, I strictly, you know, I don't have a whole bunch of rules, but like my main one is that I check out like official stuff. Both meaning like official remixes, official developer stuff, or just, you know, from the game. And I typically avoid fan-made covers, etc., etc. So... If it is, cool, it already happened. But I'm just curious, is is this... It's hard to tell with Toho, you know? Like I said, I there's so many versions of each song. So I'm just, I'm just asking, is this like an official mix? Or is this just an official arrange? Whatever. Regardless, um, I heard it. So... Damn, now I'm wondering if... If, like where's if i heard the original at all or if that was if the first one was the original um the original was not requested so if so then i'm sure the comments are going to be like where's the original but regardless the i've heard the melody now and that's like the big strong suit of this one but also in both versions the live and this one even though they're doing different things i liked what they were doing in the background which is kind of funny, and it's something I really appreciate about Toho music in general is, like I said, those like simple melodies, they're always up front, the main melodies, the leads. It, it's, it always makes other stuff shine too. So when I hear Toho, I always equally pay attention to all the rhythm stuff, anything, because the lead is so simple, and you know? Um, of course, the lead is like the first thing your ear wants to hear and follow along. But like I said, Toho is such this unique case where a lot of the leads sound kind of identical. So I've kind of subconsciously developed my ear to check out everything else underneath, you know, all that stuff. And it's really nice because it's almost like two songs living simultaneously. It's like one... And then like another one on top of it, just kind of floating above it. That's the only way I can describe it. Like a cloud above a train or something. And that's a good one actually, because a lot of Toho stuff feels like a train. It's just powering through really quick. And then up top is just this little... Da -da 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 -da. Um, but yeah, I guess my main question here, because I was thinking it in, during this song, I think. I was like, is there is there an official Toho song ever without a Zumpet? I don't know if I've ever thought that before. Maybe I have, but that makes me very curious because I feel like it's a, dare I say, a requirement in a Toho song. Um, this one is why I brought that up because it's, it's an arranged version, but also since I didn't hear it and other th instruments took its place, I'm pretty sure it was the electric guitar in this case. It sounded, it sounded a little odd to me. Like, it sounded good, but it sounded like, whoa, where's my, you know, where's my trumpet sound? Uh, it almost feels naked without it, in a way, you know? Anyways, let me know, uh, first of all, what's up with the title? Tonight Stars and Easygoing Egoist. Sounds like they're presenting. And then Egoistic Flowers. What's up with that? And then over here, we have uh, Antinomy of Common Flowers. Oh god, that reminds me. Hold on. I have to make sure. I have to make sure that name didn't pass by Tinami of Common Flowers. Nope. Okay, just had to make sure no one else requested something with Tinami. Okay, so let me know whatever. I feel like this video is kind of all over the place. Uh, live version, arranged version. What else is this arranger known for? Akiyama Uni, and uh, I have another big Toho song coming up after this, so 
Thank you to Chrysalis and Maximilian. Thank you to my Patreon members, my Platinum members, to you for watching, of course. My name is Jesse in the auditorium later.